Welcome to our lecture online. This is where we left off on the previous video. Of course, there was supposed to be an integral sign here on the integral of dq on the left side, which means we're going to integrate over the entire black body radiation curve to come up with the Stefan Boltzmann's law, at least the intensity portion of the Stefan Boltzmann's law. So the next thing to do is to realize now that everything besides the x cube over e to the x minus 1 dx is a constant, so it comes out as an integral sign. So the integral of dq over the entire range of the black body radiation curve is equal to 2 pi k to the fourth t to the fourth divided by h cubed c squared times the integral of x cubed divided by e to the x minus 1 dx. And now, of course, we have this handy integral table that told us that the integral here is equal to pi to the fourth over 15. So let's go ahead and replace that. That means that the integral of dq is therefore equal to 2 pi k to the fourth t to the fourth divided by h cubed c squared and times pi to the fourth over 15. And then if we bring all that together, we say the integral of dq is equal to 2 pi to the fifth, k to the fourth, t to the fourth, divided by 15 h cubed c squared. And now when we take a look at the Stefan Boltzmann law, at least the intensity portion of it, and realizing that the emissivity for a black body radiator is going to be equal to 1, that means that this should be equal to sigma times t to the fourth power, which means that this whole thing except t to the fourth power should be equal to that. And of course, this is the Stefan Boltzmann's constant. So we can say that this is equal to 2 pi, and let me get out of the way so you can see what I'm doing, uh, to the fifth power, k to the fourth power, divided by 15 h cubed c squared, times t to the fourth power. So this should be equal to the Stefan Boltzmann's constant there. All right, let's find out if that's correct. So with a calculator, now remember, pi, we all know what that is, k is 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23, h is going to be 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34, and c is the speed of light. Okay, let's see what that's equal to. And if you remember what that constant was, remember, we're looking for sigma is equal to 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8, and that would be equal to watts per uh, meter squared per Kelvin to the fourth power. So this is what we're looking for to be contained within the parentheses here. Let's find out if that's true. Of course, we're going to have some slight running errors because the um, let's see, here, Planck's constant is not exactly that. It's 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 and so forth. C is not exactly 3 times 10 to the 8, but we'll get close enough, I think. So, let's see. So, 2 times pi raised to the 5th power, okay, uh, times k to the 4th power. Now, we have to be careful because k to the 4th power, yes, that will, my calculator will be able to handle that. So, times... Uh, 1.38 e to the 23 minus raised to the fourth power equals, there we go. Now, let's see, we're going to divide that by 15, so divide by 15, that works. Now divide by h, well, we've got to be careful, because h cubed, my calculator won't be able to handle that, so let's divide by h, so divide by 6.626 e to the 34 minus, yep. And now we're going to divide by 6.626 e to the 34 minus squared. I guess I put on 6.626 because I'm so used to doing that. And that's equal to, and now we have to divide by c squared. So divide by 3 e to the 8 squared equals, and guess what I get. So this is equal to 5.65 times 10 to the minus 8 times t to the fourth power. And notice, did we get close? And we sure did. We didn't get quite 5.67, we got 5.65, but that's close enough, times 10 to the minus 8. And so you can see that by integrating over the black body radiation curve, the equation that represents that curve, we end up with the emission, the power emission, or the intensity emission of the, Boltzmann's, uh, the Stefan Boltzmann's law. 
quite amazing how that actually works. And that's what they had to do to show that from this, they could arrive at the Stefan Boltzmann's law. They were pretty smart because I would have never done that on my own. That's how it's done. <laughs> I don't think I would have figured that one out. They were pretty smart. <laughs>